coronavirus, quote unquote, down under, and whether oh. it can be spread through farts. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and you have yeah, to wear, a, wear them special uh, underwear charcoal. with the filters. <laughs> yeah. Filter your, your farts. Okay. <laughs> during Friday's episode of the uh, Australian Broadcasting Corporation's Corona Cast. Uh, producer and host Dr. Norman Swan made a cautionary suggestion when it comes to particles in your feces set adrift uh, oh. with a fart. He said there would be no bare bottom farting. He said he advised it about prost- about a posterior <laughs> pandemic panic. Uh, yeah, and he was right. serious. Well, there are those clubs where that's all they do is fart in each other's faces, and that's yeah. You know. Really? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but you never know. There probably yeah. is, there will be now. <laughs> Another emergency physician down in Australia, Dr. Andy Tang, also floated the question uh, via his Twitter, saying, "So can the bare uh, can the bottom based emissions of someone actually carry a virus? Would that be considered silent and deadly?" <laughs> it would. He <laughs> always said those were the worst ones, the yeah. SBDs, the drive-bys. Yeah, <laughs> the crop, the crop dusting. Yeah. Oh yikes! Oh man! Yikes. So, uh, so where does that leave uh, us? I guess, I guess, according to Tag, the co-founder of the medical education site in uh, uh, Australia, uh, suggest uh, not throwing caution to the um, wind, as he would put it. <laughs> yeah. he, he instead uh, proposes keeping your pants on when you decide to pass gas, just for personal protection. Consider your uh, your jeans as your. Uh, your lower face mask. Yeah, your lower filters. Yeah, yeah for there all you go. ass faces out there. <laughs> oh man. And Yikes. last but not least, and last but not least, a woman who survived a close range gunshot wound to the chest Ooh. was saved because of her large silicone breast implants. Oh man. Yep. In they a must case have study, been huge. They must. Yeah, she must Jeez. have been. Yeah. Wow. Uh, in a case study published, well, they uh, used they used the cock instead of the <laughs> liquid silicone. <laughs> Uh, according to the Sage Medical Journal last week, doctors described how a silicone breast implant deflected a bullet away from a 30-year-old woman's vital organs uh, in a robbery that happened in uh, Toronto in 2018. Yikes. It's one, uh, yeah, it's would, serious. Man. Yeah, it right. is one of only a handful of instances recorded uh, in medical literature where an implant played a role as a saving uh, a patient's life and uh, it was first recorded incident of silicone implants yeah. doing that. Uh, so yeah, that's um, huh. well, sometimes bigger is better. Yeah, I guess so. I know <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. That's crazy. I that is. It. Hey, it is. Is, it, is. is this not strange and weird news? Yeah, that's weird. I, exactly. I would never, never think would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I would have yeah. never. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, would you ever have thought of that? No. No. Hey, I got these implants. Shoot me in the chest. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> it worked for her. <laughs> oh man. All right. So uh, <laughs> that's going to wind up weird and. Uh, in a straight news of the yeah. weird, I should say. And uh, coming up, we've got your talking real metal. And next hour, we'll talk to Jeff Keith from Tesla right here on Rock and Metal Revival. Here's your latest hard rock and metal news on Rock and Metal Revival. Horns up, metalheads! It's time once again for another edition of Talking Real Metal. And uh, to get the kids out. It's time for homeschooling. Yep, yep. I'm ready. I'm. All take, right. Got to take notes. Be prepared. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ex Megadeth guitarist Marty Friedman praises COVID 19 frontline workers. Those people are superheroes. I have to yep. agree with them on that one. I do too, man. That's the toughest gig there is right now. There's a lot of tough gigs out there, but that's that's the toughest, man. Y- you know, uh, they, they I heard a comment made the other day, and it said. Uh, Maybe people now realize who heroes are. They don't play football. They don't play sports. They don't. Mm-hmm. They aren't billionaires. Your real heroes are everyday people that you see every day. Yeah. So, yeah, thumbs up to uh, those people on the front line. For sure. Um, Alter Bridge postponed spring 2020 tour with Blackstone, Cherry, and St. Asonia. That would have been a great show. Yeah. Hopefully they can uh, come back and reschedule. That would, yeah, that would, that's a good bill right there. That is a very good bill. St. Asonia, if I got to see them guys a couple of years ago in December when their out, first album, their debut album came out. That band rocks. And yeah. uh, that would be a great tour. 
Uh, rat singer Stephen Piercy to release six solo album in 2021. Hopefully it's so low I can't hear it. <laughs> well, it sounds pretty good on that Geico commercial. Oh, yeah, that guy, they did get that gig. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That was a cool commercial. But they're missing their guitarist. They're missing a guitarist still. And without Warren Martini, it's not Rat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's Stephen Piercy and Juan. Yeah, it is it is Stephen Piercy's solo act. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, Poison's Ricky Rocket says rock music has been a little stagnant for a while. Uh, Jerry? I can I can agree with that. Okay. Except metal hasn't. Rock music it, has. Oh, yeah. Um, D. Snyder's live DVD CD for the Love of Metal Tour to arrive this summer. I don't I like, think so. I like that album. I like the uh, album, but I don't think there's going to be a tour this summer. No, no. It's a DVD of the tour they just did, oh, they did for, okay. in support of that album. So yeah. That made your top ten list, didn't it? I, I think it might... Uh, Man. Yeah, I think it, it should, did. If it did, and it should have, because yeah, it had some good stuff in it. Yeah. All right. the The Scorpions uh, have a lot of songs written for their next studio album. They've had plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I didn't. Li- I haven't liked anything they've done in the last couple albums. So. Well, I'm quit writing like, ballads. Yeah. Uh, Motley Crue is still waiting on official word about possible postponement of the stadium tour. It's probably going to be postponed. I'm pretty sure it is. Mm. Uh, White Snake's David Coverdale says 2021 would be appropriate time for him to retire. Huh? I, I, There's a guy we've never had on the show. Yeah, I'd like to have him on the show. David Coverdale yeah. would be cool. Yeah. Uh, wow. wow, this is a pretty. I didn't know this. Uh, Ticketmaster to offer refunds for concerts postponed due to pandemic. I thought they were only paying if they were canceled. No, now they uh, changed it again because of the outcry. <laughs> well, I know there was those class action lawsuits taken ah, against them. That so. could be. That could be yeah. it, too. <laughs> like, well, we could have all these lawsuits get, or we could just do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, do the right thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Costs. Um, Ozzy Osbourne donates uh, tour merchandise proceeds to keep memory alive. Yeah, I guess it's a Parkinson's project, so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's a Michael J. Fox thing. Yeah, it probably is. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah, not to keep his memory alive, I was like, <laughs> which yeah, at I first start- I thought, I was like, geez, what a... What an egotistical douche, man. I read that and I went, man, how did uh, Sharon talk him into that? <laughs> I'm going to make a huge... Just I want the money so I can make a build a huge statue of myself yeah. <laughs> or something like that no no hey. it's for parkinson's so that's cool hey you didn't buy a new guitar did you no i wish i could have got that guitar dude i know what you're talking Jay- about yeah uh, jason becker's tribute guitar sells for twenty six thousand bucks Ooh, it had everybody's autograph you'd want every yeah. Ingve, eddie van halen paul gilbert was dime on there uh i don't know if dime was on there but I know but Steve I Vai was on there. And anybody who's anybody yeah. on, the, on the guitar is, is on there. Is, and it's like, wow. Yeah, I saw I saw a picture of it. That was very cool. Um, I hope, yeah, and what did, he was selling it for uh, his ALS Foundation, isn't he? Yes, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, Jason, so, I got to actually see him play with David Lee Roth at Alpine Valley. Wow. When Man. Roth was on his, yeah, when and Roth was, was on his... Uh, you caught him. A little ain't enough to her. You caught him right when it was starting. Yeah, Dude. he was awesome. Ah, I know. I've seen videos of the guy, and it's like, holy cow. No, you, there's, you can't play that many notes. That's not yeah. possible, dude. <laughs> I didn't this think is anybody a trick. Would... This is a trick. That's not real. <laughs> I didn't think anybody could play the Steve Vai parts, but he did, oh, and man. effortlessly. Yeah. Um. Megadeth, David Ellison looks back on the Rust in Peace album, uh, that is the record that turned the corner for Megadeth. I have to yeah. agree with that. Yeah, it's a big album. Yep. Um, first seven shows of the Big Rock Summer Tour featuring Rat, Tom Kiefer, Skid Row, and Slaughter have officially been postponed. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the rest of them will, too. Yeah, Probably. here's good news uh, for you. Uh, Armored Saint is completing mixing their new album. I love Armored Saint. Ooh, I'm I don't, looking I don't know why I wasn't a bigger fan of them back in the day. I know. Well, we were just, there were so many good bands back then, you know, because they kind of got buried in it. And last but not least, Judas Priest is reportedly working uh, to rearrange summer 2020 European leg of 50 
years of heavy metal tour. So uh, hopefully they can get that done and play for their fans over in Europe. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Very cool. So, all right. So fantastic. next hour we talk. What's fantastic? <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so uh, we'll talk to we'll talk to Jeff Keith coming up next hour. That was a blast from the past, right there. That's and, a very uh, cool. Very cool. <laughs> we, got, we got more. Uh, we got more. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. We're just Jeff Keith coming up next on Rock and Metal Revival. From their latest release, Five Man London Jam, there's one of my all-time favorite bands, Tesla, with What You Give. And on the phone with me today, uh, it is an honor to welcome uh, the lead vocalist of Tesla, Jeff Keith, to Rock and Metal Revival. Welcome to the show, Jeff. It's great to have you on the show. And hey, now with the 30th anniversary of Five Man Acoustical Jam, you guys get into the Abbey Road Studios and recreate another classic recording. I got to ask, Jeff, was this something you guys had planned, or was this something somebody in management came up with? This, uh, management definitely came up with it. And uh, we went over last summer to do a bunch of festivals over in, in Europe. And they worked it out for us to record at the one and only Abbey Road Studios for the 30-year anniversary of Five Man Acoustical Jam, and it was absolutely magical. Fantastic. And we, we captured it on tape uh, and, and, you know, with cameras, the whole shot, and it turned out great. You know, one of the things that I always liked about uh, Five Man, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you guys kept the original performance, no overdubs. Did you guys do the same with this release? Absolutely. You know, the the five man acoustical jam, we uh we forgot we were even recording and stuff, so uh we weren't even thinking about anything. But even though this was set up to know that we were recording it, capturing it to put out a record to for the thirty year anniversary, um, you still in the in the middle of recording you still forget that you're recording, which is what I love about performing live. And uh, on top of that, to capture a great recording and stuff, you know, and it turned out great all live. And, 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 and you know, that, that goes even farther than the performance of the band. I mean, it's all the people are, that are behind the scenes that are doing it. The text with everything being in tune to the recording, to no buzzes, everything sounding just fantastic. So, I mean, for the overall, we were really fortunate that it came out just better than we could ever have imagined now jeff when you're Within sitting in the four walls <laughs> yeah, when, I, you know, abbey road I'm, studios. I'm thinking about this and you, you're doing this at abbey road uh, studios which is so historic did did that make a special vibe uh just being there knowing about all the great music that had been there before absolutely i mean just to be within those four walls much less performing and recording. It's like, oh my gosh, what a what an opportunity, and uh, what you know, it's just uh, unforgettable, and to capture it and and it to come out great, and so absolutely to be within those four walls, you know, for myself, I had to just think, hey, don't overthink it too much. You're in this this magical place, and but you still just want to perform and, and have fun doing it, and it all turned out great. It's definitely, uh, definitely had a, that that vibe like nothing else. Now there are some songs off uh, some of the releases since the original Five Man Jam uh, that the band has recorded. Uh, songs like one of my favorite, "Into the Now." What was the process in picking those songs for, uh, for this release and this performance? Well, we like we wanted to, to, of course, play you know some songs to commemorate the thirty year anniversary, and then. Of course, there were songs that when we recorded that in 1990 when we were on tour with Motley Crue, you know, we just uh, had five different cities where we had nights off and we found some clubs that allowed us to play our music acoustically. Uh, so, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, we, we, there were songs that weren't written mm -hmm. at the, in 1990 that were written now at, at Abbey Road Studios as, as far up to the new record we did with Phil Collins, Shock. So it was great, cause, and, and, and so to pick, we wanted to pick, try to pick song, uh, at least one song from each record, and also have those staple songs in there. And so it, it's, it's like, it, it really wasn't as hard as we would think, because sometimes picking a, 
the songs for a set list period can be very tough and difficult mm-hmm. because you only got so much time. 